Good morning and welcome to Mike Ferry TV. I have some interesting news. You may not care about them, of course, but we just found out that we've, not, we've now gone by over 1,100,000 views of Mike Ferry TV in the last couple of years. So I wanna say thank you for all of you that are watching. Hopefully it's something that you're learning from, you can use to educate yourself, better prepare yourself for your business, and of course do more deals and make more money. That's a lot of views for this type of a program, so thank you for participation. And we'll try to make them better so you can participate even more. In fact, why don't you each try to find one person to also watch that you know in the community that would help them also, because the more good listings that are taken, the more listings everybody gets to sell, and the more referrals we get, which is more business. So help me out if you can. What I wanna to do today, and I'll continue it next week, is I wanna to talk to you, because here we are in mid-February now. We already have six weeks of the year gone, and we wanna make sure that we're on track to do our job at the highest level. So I made up a couple of lists of things we can do to keep ourselves real sharp, keep ourselves real focused, and most importantly, keep ourselves real productive. So in today's program, and next week, Mike Ferry TV, I'm gonna probably have to have you watch it two or three times, take copious notes, put together the list as I'm giving it to you, keep that list printed in big block letters in front of you at all times, so you can take advantage of these ideas. Because what I've discovered is that the majority of us, even though we're cognizant of the fact we have to do certain things to succeed, they slip out of our minds as the day goes by. It's just called human nature. So I made up a list of 10 thoughts to keep you highly productive for this year. And next week I'll cover 10 more thoughts to keep you highly productive. Let's put them into use, let's put them into action. Let's help you get more listings, make more sales. So here, here's what I wrote down as number one. You've heard it before. Virtually start every single day at zero. Now, for those that are new to Mike Ferry TV, what I mean by that is really very simple. One of the challenges we face, and it's very common, even among the best producers. We get three or four good listings, we get a couple transactions pending, we get a couple closings, we get a couple paychecks, we have a few leads, we have a tendency to become comfortable very fast. We think we're okay. And then we stop doing those things that gut us to the point where we have a couple of listings, a couple of pendings, a couple of closings, and a couple leads. The hardest part of the business is every single day doing your job at the highest level. That's the hardest part of the business, why? Because technically you're the boss. You're the president, you're the chairman, you're the chief executive officer, you know, you're the financial analyst, you're the sales manager, you're the salesperson. You, you are all of those in one person. So because of that, we, get a, we have a tendency to get distracted, get off track and go in a lot of directions that aren't gonna get us more listings and sales. So what we teach people is to start every day at zero. Get up in the morning, go to your desk, and pretend like you have no leads, no prospects, no listings, no sales, no pendings, no money in the bank. So you're hungry and you're really focused to go get some of these today. Because you and I both know if you had to get a deal today, you could, but if you have three or four leads, that are comfortable leads, if you have three or four pendings, it's easy to get distracted from starting every day at zero. Number two is to operate every day with a level of enthusiasm that is way beyond what is normal for you. Now, I know some of you by nature are enthusiastic. Some of you naturally are enthusiastic. Some of you, when I walk by you, there's a smile on your face, you can feel the energy. Some of you by nature are not that way. So therefore, what we have to do is each of us has to raise the level of enthusiasm towards the work we do, towards the schedule we have, looking at the results of that schedule, raise our level of enthusiasm about each lead we generate, each prospect we call, each appointment we set, each obviously appointment we go on. Why? Because see, when we're enthusiastic, it attracts people to us. When we're not enthusiastic, it actually pushes them away. People want to be around people that like what they do. People want to be around people that enjoy what they do. People want to be around people that have a great sense of satisfaction that knowing you as an enthusiastic person is going to better their life, and in this case, get their listing sold. Number three, I wrote down, start every day with a commitment that you're going to do something to get to your production goal today. 
Every day when you wake up and get to the office, I am committed to doing something today to make sure that I achieve that goal that I've set. I think the biggest difficulty in real estate is the distractions between your computers and the emails and the texts and the beeps and all the messages and your cell phone ringing and people in the office around you. There's so many distractions, it's hard to remain committed. But if you don't remain committed, guess what happens? You get distracted. And if you're distracted, you can't achieve the goals you've set. I've heard for 40 years, hundreds of thousands of times, if I would have only been more committed each day, I could achieve my goal. If I could only have been more committed each day, I could achieve my goal. So let's look at number four. Allow yourself the luxury of doing more business in the month of March than you've ever thought was possible. We have a week or 10 days to prepare for this. Can we do more business in the month of March than we ever thought was possible? Absolutely, but it starts today. Okay, what is your best month ever for listings taken, listings sold, buyer controlled sales, checks cashed? Can you better that in the month of March? I bet you can. I had a great email from one of our clients a couple days ago, and this person was saying that inventory is way down. Well, that's because the market's good. Watch, when the inventory is way up, the market was no good, that was no fun. Well, it's not a lot of fun when the inventory is way down because the market's good. Well, that means we have to put in more energy, more effort to maintain our business the way we want. So let's make a commitment to try to make this, the month of March, our best month ever. Allow yourself the luxury of doing more business in one month than you ever thought was possible. What an exciting thought. And it's something that you can obviously accomplish. And then I wrote down next, take your best month of 2014. So let's stop. 2014. Let's say you did 20 deals, you did 50 deals, you did 100 deals. What was your best month for listings taken? Listings sold by our controlled sales. Your best month for deals done, your best month for income. What if we said to ourselves, let's take our best month in 2014 and make that our minimum standard for every month of 2015, starting this week, starting in March. Why not? Let's say that you said, my best month ever was taking six listings. Well, why not take six listings minimum every month this year? You can do this. You know how, if you pay attention to what we're teaching, you know how to do it. You're already in the mindset that you know it can happen. So let's take what we had as our best and make it our minimum standard and not go below it, which means in most cases, your production income is going to go up dramatically during the calendar year 2015. Number six, I'm going to suggest very strongly, you've heard it before, find four to five committed role play partners that will really push you. People that you can role play with 20, 30 minutes every single morning. That are people that will really critique you, that you can critique. That will keep you on the scripts, that will keep you moving forward. That will keep you pumped up and energized about the fact that if you use the material we're teaching, your confidence goes up and your production always follows. Five to six committed role play partners. I wrote down number seven, okay? Just for a change of base, try doing 100% of what I ask of you each week for the next four to six weeks. Do 100%. Don't do some of it. Don't do what you're comfortable with. Don't do if it fits into your style. Blind faith. Do it 100%. See, we tell people all the time, if you're involved in coaching and you're not doing 100% of what the coach teaches you, Aren't you, in essence, losing money, even though almost all of our clients are making more money than ever? So here's a fun thought for you. 2015, we're projecting that our average coaching client is going to do 48 transactions in 2015. We took all of our coaching clients, added up all their goals for the year. We divided it up. They're going to do 48 transactions on average and make a little over 425000 How does that compare to you? Well, if you're not doing that much, here's a thought for you. Why not try doing 100% of what I teach? Look at, why not start every day at zero? Raise your level of enthusiasm. Make a stronger commitment to the work you do. Allow yourself the luxury of doing more business in one month. Take your best month from last year, make it your minimum standard. Get four to five committed role play partners. Actually do the things that we say. 
Now, Mike, it's not my style. I don't like all of what you teach. Hey, tell somebody that cares. My only concern is getting you to be more productive. I don't need to listen to your excuses because, see, as an independent contractor, you have the right to have excuses all the time. That's not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in your productivity. Ah, let's go to number eight. Commit 100% to being more coachable. Whether your broker's coaching you, your manager's coaching you, one of our competitors are coaching you, if we're coaching you, or simply Mike Ferry TV is your method of learning and coaching. Commit 100% to being more coachable. If you play professional hockey or football or basketball or tennis or golf, and you didn't do what the coach says, guess what? You're going to get fired, you're going to get traded, you're gone, okay? This is one of those crazy businesses because we're independent contractors, we don't have to do what we say, what we're told. Number nine, accept the fact that starting today for the balance of this year, you're going to do a lot of things that make you uncomfortable. You want to be more productive? You want to have more business? You want to have more listings, more sales, more income? You're going to have to start doing things that make you uncomfortable because guess what? That's called the facts of life. In real life, the people that succeed at the highest levels put themselves in a position to be uncomfortable. Folks, listen to me. You call on a for sale by owner, go to their front door, knock on the door. Even if you're not fully prepared, they don't know you're not prepared. You're putting yourself in an uncomfortable position so you can become more productive. Put yourself in uncomfortable positions. And the last thought for today, I said work every day on mastering the basics of real estate sales. Prospect every day. Effective lead follow-up. Make effective presentations and negotiate contracts. That's our job. If we prospect every day, we do effective lead follow-up, we go on presentations all the time, and we negotiate contracts, we're going to win. Watch. We've had over a million people watch Mike Ferry TV, and a good portion of them are people that are winning. Are you winning to the degree you want? If not, now's the time to start. Watch this particular program several times this week. Take copious notes. Type up these ideas, put them up in front of you in big print, and then every day read them and remember to do them. Talk to you next week.